Yeah. Um, good morning, everyone. We are deeply appreciative of this opportunity to be here today. We come from Church Word Service, Jersey City. I'm Susie, she's Anna, and we're here to share the impactful work we do supporting refugees. And also, how can you join in this amazing mission? Hello, everyone. I just want to ask you one question in the beginning, and uh, hopefully you will be able to answer whether some of you have ever been in foreign country without any money, any friends, any, uh, any even phone number to call. You know, I, I could be this person because I'm from Ukraine. I came to the United States 14 months ago. And uh, you know, the reason because why I left my country, because in my country is war. But uh, the reason I am able to stay today in this amazing place, because I met incredible people. My American family, they're here now and they support me. They just gave me their hand. They gave me housing. They gave me and my daughter food. They were this focal point, this sustainability, this my belief that um, I can survive. We are from Kiev. We were uh, in the shelter, in bomb shelter for three days with my 10, ten years old daughter. And at some point, uh, American people, they just say, yes, there is a hope. There is there is a place for you, and they uh, helped us to, to be alive. And uh, when I came here, I, I used to be a lawyer, you know, <laughs> and I used to deal with big companies and uh, make serious uh, decisions and stuff. I used to work in the government, but I, when I came here, I understood I will help other people as my American family helped me. And uh, I started working in CWS. This organization uh, is um, uh, pretty old, and uh, now we are serving more uh, than 3,000 people, people from Cuba, Haiti, Ukraine, Afghanistan, people uh, who left their countries not because they just wanted to travel and to try other life. They left country just because it was impossible to stay in their own countries. And uh, they're looking for hope, for, for place where they can just be alive. We have many families with children, people with disabilities, seniors. They're coming. They don't need too much. They just need place where they can stay for, for some time. Uh, they are not, uh, they, they did not choose this life. It's just because some circumstances ma made them be refugees. And uh, Church World Service now is, uh, is an organization which helps people not only uh, be, be in this country for some period of time. We are teaching uh, all our clients how to be self-sufficient. We are showing uh, how to find job, how to learn English, how to um, use some even transportation, and uh, how to uh, find school for children. So our organization is helping people for some period of time to stay in the shelter on, or find housing. But our strategic goal, our vision is to, find, to help uh, people be self-sufficient, independent, and of course, help other people in, uh, in, in, the, in the future, yes. Uh, yes, we, now our department is five uh, immigrants, five girls, Susie is one of them. We all um, have um, one wish, uh, just to let people be good people. Because uh, when you are hungry, when you don't have place to go and sleep, when you um, don't, you, you cannot, if you feel cold, you feel sick, you cannot think about like some, some other things like environment, like, uh, I don't know, a development and stuff. You just need to f fulfill your basic needs. And our organization is working on uh, building this 
network of volunteers, of people who have some, uh, some opportunities to, to donate, to participate. And, uh, you know, sometimes we are asking ourselves, what does it mean, support? We usually use this word, support and help. But what does it mean? I guess everybody can help uh, in a way they can, right? It's not like always donations. It's not about million dollars. Sometimes it's just to drive people to some location. Sometimes it's to make a post on social media where you will show you support. Sometimes it's just to donate, donate some leftover from yesterday or to give some Hi, John Kids. I saw here. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, uh, I really believe that everybody will be able to answer for themselves how I can support, what this word, word uh, means for me. Uh, and a little bit uh, more about our particular work, uh, uh, we'll tell Susie. <laughs> and uh, I'm really very happy to say it because this girl, she came just a couple months ago and she's very, very involved. I, I hope uh, many people will uh, do the same. Okay, Susie? Thanks for that. Um, we believe that access to a secure housing is a fundamental human right. So our housing team, we work tirelessly to try to provide a safe to place home to all those refugees to come to this country with empty hands. In a world where many individuals struggle to find a safe housing, our mission takes a significant importance. Um, by addressing housing needs, we not only offer a space and shelter, we offer a new opportunity to all these people who come to this new country with no family, no money, and any resource. It represents for them a new opportunity to transform and create a new life. Basically, when a client arrives at CWS, the first thing they require is a safe place to stay. At that moment, our team acts and try to provide the necessary for the client. Because also for us, it's not just about four walls and a roof. It represents the opportunity to start one more time because it's a really, really difficult situation for them. We have shelter that provide safe place to those people. Our shelter serve as a temporary transitional space for them for three months. During this time, we also, as animation, provide them some education and orientation about setting goals, managing um, money acquired, and how to be self-sufficient in this country because it's not easy for them. Um, for refugees, our client, when they receive a space in our shelter, it's not just represent a space to state. It's represent the crucial necessary support to begin a new life. Uh, maybe I can share with you um, um, little history about one of our client um, life and history being here. For example, we have a family, Tony's family. They come from Haiti, Haiti, and they come to the office without no money, no belonging, no basic clothing. They were hungry. Um, his wife was pregnant, and they were with a three-year-old daughter. They was confused and with anything to do. So we offer them a space and shelter. With the help uh, to the come sponsor, they're living now an apartment in Newark. His wife is almost, um, is about to become a mother. And um, soon they are come um, self-sufficient. They're going to start working and start a new life. Thanks to this come sponsor. Also, we can mention Surine. Surine is other or our clients. She arrived at CWS with a little, a little, son, a little son, and she was empty hands. She said, "I need help." So we provided a safe place to stay. And while his son was in the school, she was worked tirelessly in McDonald's, a, um, saving every penny, every dollar. 
one day she approached us and said, I have been saving. Please, can you help me to find a home? We did it thanks to CWS and donations. And today, Surine is living in an apartment, paying by herself and um, with pride and self sufficiency. This is um, just an example of histories that made us feel and provide a vision that the, with the necessary support, anything is possible. And I'm mentioning it because. For clients like Q1 and Haitian, it's really hard because when they come to this country, they are faced almost a year without work permit. They have no money. They have no family. They don't speak English. They don't have nothing. So that's why we believe that with the necessary support, we can change their life. Um, Despite this asterisk, it's important to say that, unfortunately, the situation is very changing due to the high demand and the limitations um, resources for us. Client arrive at church work service with empty hands. No work permits, no money, hungry, no basic clothes. Almost then, women, preg pregnant women, um, families with young children, and this is one of the most significant and challenging undertaking our housing team has faced. In reality, every week our waiting list grows longer. We have more emergency requests, um, more people in need, and less available space and shelter. In the face of these challenging situations, we are trying to provide um, a series of measures or strategies to give them a response. For example, sharing rooms, contacting police shelter in Hudson County, um, agreements with Airbnb for emergency situation, or establishing um, agreement with landlords. All of this has been effective, but in reality, despite the commendable efforts, the church war service to provide for refugees and those in need, they often find themselves constrained by a lack of resource. What it means? It means that not all refugees and people in need can receive the care and support they rightfully deserve immediately. So it's here when good hearted people can support this mission and also support those clients who arrived to this country with empty hands. Yes, uh, we are here because we know uh, what, what kind of people you are. And uh, yes, as Katerina already mentioned, we already worked together. We collaborated to help some particular families to, to have a place to stay. And we are here to remind one more time that one day probably we have children, we will have grandchildren, and they will come to us and ask, what have you done, mom? Where was you when war in Ukraine happened, for example? How did you participate? How did you help people? How did you help people like I, children? And I, I really believe that all of us will have an answer and we will be proud of our answers, and uh, we will do as much as we can for right now, just because this kind of people we are. Thank you so much. We, we, we will be here, and we have some flyers to share with information about our organization. So if you have any questions, please um, join, join us. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here, and thank you for all your kind hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna and Susie. And thank you all as a church. Your generosity has allowed the church to continue to support Church World Service financially and tangibly. As a congregation, you have donated money. We have used space to house a family, that also required the time and talent of many volunteers. 
And today we receive and will bless the items you have brought for the shelter.